Hey, a friend, Chris here from White Logic Paroles, the website and channel that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. Today, I want to show you how I'm using Stem Splitter in Logic to remove metronome bleed from audio recordings. I got to say, ever since Stem Splitter was introduced with Logic Pro 11, my original thought was, oh, that's nice. How nice for remixers and folks who want to sample. But I've been using Stem Splitter all the time for a variety of different reasons, for extracting stems for recovering audio performances. Let's say you had some drum bleed or something. I've been using it to learn beats and, and bass lines and stuff from songs. And in this case, I'm using it to remove some metronome bleed from an acoustic guitar recording. So I want to show you how easy and simple this is and how good Stem Splitter is ever since the 11.2 update. Let's dig into it. On screen, I have an acoustic guitar. Well, actually, I have two versions of the same acoustic guitar. The first track is the original raw recording, and the second track is the process version. When we set up to record acoustic, I threw up a microphone and I hit record just to see what we had going on. And what we had going on was number one, metronome bleed. So let's take a listen to that. Right, so you can hear the metronome clacking away in the background. And if we take a listen to the original version. That metronome is in there and I kind of threw up the microphone haphazardly. This acoustic guitar needed some major surgery. So that's how I ended up with this process version. But for now, let's talk about Stem Splitter. So we have the acoustic guitar, right? We have metronome in there. And I was really curious, can Stem Splitter actually split out metronome bleed from a guitar recording? And I also want to point out that we have a little action at the front end of this recording. Take a listen. Yeah. All right, ready, set. One, two, three. Okay, so we have him getting kind of hyped, getting ready to play. He's listening to the metronome that got into the recording. So let's check it out. I'm going to right click on the region, go down to processing and select stem splitter. And since the 11.2 update, we now have not just four categories of vocals, drums, bass and other, but we now have two more for guitar and piano. You can also choose from various presets of separate all the stems or just select stems. Cool. So I'm going to choose my own stems here. First, we know a voice is in there, but I don't want a completely separate vocal stem. So I'll deselect it. Next up is drums. Now we don't have drums in the recording, but if I were to guess, I bet you that Stem Splitter would categorize the metronome as part of the drum stem. So I'm gonna leave that selected. Next we have bass. Clearly we have no bass in this recording. Of course, I want the guitar separated from the metronome. So let's separate that out. We don't have a piano or other but I will select the submix category, which will include the other categories that were not specifically selected, vocals, bass, piano, and other, if Stem Splitter thinks it's identified those signals. Okay, let's hit apply. And check it out. We have drums, which looks like to me, there's a metronome there. We have the acoustic guitar, and we have a separate track with what looks like the dialogue from the performer before he started playing. So let's check this out. Let's listen to just the guitar here. The acoustic sounds great. There's no weird artifacts. It doesn't sound like something's popping in and out. Let's take a listen to the drum stem. That's incredible. Doesn't it sound like metronome bleed occurring in a room somewhere? Next, let's listen to the front end of the submix stem. Yeah. All right, ready, set. One, two, three. And notice at the very beginning of the guitar stem, there seems to be something going on there. I wonder if Stem Splitter made a mistake of thinking that my performer talking was somehow the guitar playing. Let's take a listen. Oh my gosh, it's the performer 
getting situated with his guitar and you even hear him kind of bump into the guitar. That's incredible. Now, obviously, we don't really need a separate stem for the metronome or the talking at the beginning. All I cared about was getting a clean guitar recording. So if we now compare the version with the metronome bleed, versus the recording without metronome bleed. Amazing. Now, obviously, there's some reverb that didn't carry over. That's no problem. I can carry it over. But booyah. A recovered performance. It was that simple with Stem Splitter. Now, again, I just want to point out the difference between the original recording here and my processed version. Clearly a salvaged job with this acoustic guitar from beginning to end. Metronome bleed plus just a poor recording with poor mic placement. Let me know if you'd like me to go over in a video how I process the acoustic guitar, just so it's at least not as terrible as the original recording was. But otherwise, I hope this video was helpful for you, and I'll talk to you later. Take care.